This video is about the all but absent disdain for the injustice of the establishment and how it is obvious who they are and what kind of energy they have. First, let's talk about the philosophies um, around the time of the birth of Christ. Okay, we'll call it 0 AD. Okay. Around this time, there were arguments about whether there should be one king or the Roman Senate should be more powerful. These arguments were always there. Everyone who was against the idea of one king knew that they had no viable counter-argument, listen very carefully, for the idea that one righteous man, the most righteous man, proven through martial arts, like Narmer in Egypt, the first pharaoh, as, as the story goes, um, being the ideal way to govern. A government with one king. One king who's ordained with morality. He's anointed with righteousness and true love for the people, which is the righteousness inside of them. He wants to create a society where they breed toward that righteousness. There's no viable counter-argument. Just a bunch of troll-like craftsmen and sages who want to twist things because they can't overcome their desire to look good and their sexual desires. They knew for the longest, for thousands and thousands of years before the stated birth of Christ, that this was the case. They wanted to establish religion, love, excuse me, they wanted to eradicate religion, love, inheritance, family, private property, and monarchy. All things that would allow a society, before it's too late, to build toward this idea and to establish it. And religion, the bill that rings lives from religion, was martial arts, tatib, to get to the truth and the bottom of something, being straightforward and honest through the use of the stick. So showing moral clarity, showing who is more evolved toward moral clarity to the natural alpha leader. So the true moral king cannot cheat the natural alpha leader out of his right to lead. So he has to be a moral warrior. He has to be righteous, have love in his heart, and to deal in truth. That's part of why they went to great distances to make me feel the need to put extras on minor things in my videos long ago, but I never lied about being the top martial artist in my key points just at times. I put slightly extra on things in a way that is insignificant when you consider the bigger picture so they can make these immoral arguments and confuse the issue. Okay. So these people were embodied in the story of the Bible as being ballis, Juju, witchcraft, Juno, Jupiter, Hera, Zeus. Okay. The Jews. Okay. The Jews who worship the world. Ballist. They said, we refuse to bow down to the idea of a king that is anointed by morality, a warrior king like David. Moses killing the Egyptian, chasing off the people who were harassing the shepherd's daughters by the water, by the well, okay? The well, the moral warrior, the good shepherd, the champion that beats Goliath, okay? It's clear cut. Afro-Asiatic language, Hebrew, Amos 9-7, are you not the same as the Cushites? Obviously, the Cushites are the actual alpha warrior guys. That's why Moses is said to have taken a Cushite wife, if I'm not mistaken. And Miriam complains, she gets leprosy, and so on and so forth. So I'm almost out of time on my phone, so let's just shoot through this game. That idea is sound. Boom, there's no viable counter. A group of corporate demons who are cheating the natural alpha out of his right to live, excuse me, right to lead, wearing wigs, using technology and being unnatural and owning slaves, can't say all people are equal. That's not their true message. Their true message is they're going to want you to play stupid so they can jack everybody. Okay? So the establishment, it is the British establishment, the white establishment, the corporate establishment, the globalist establishment has certain energy and certain people who settle for this. They tend to be thicker people. Okay? This is the rule of thumb. These people are not supposed to put themselves over people like me. They're thicker people. Cops, military. They're thick. They're holding their unnatural guns. Firearms. Even has the word arm. Forearm. Forearms. What arm? Spirit. The spear in the African's hands. The spear of God. The alpha. The first. Okay? Corporate. Military. Police. MMA. Low mass. Settling down. Okay? Also, you have the low maneuver and the low... The crypto Jew, the Jew with the mindset, mind set, settler, settle down, set the deity of confusion, evil, sexual immorality, and more, chaos, etc. Okay. So people don't have enough disdain for this. When you see people who are in the reproductive and cultural cycle of the establishments, trickle down pedo evil. 
the Colosseum, the orgies, the ritual madness, the bacchanalia, okay? The ritual evils of Western culture, the half-truth telling philosophers, even Socrates has a little boy lover. Okay, and this is one of the characteristic traits of democracy is a bunch of pedophiles with little boys in, in, in cultures and secret societies and social clubs that they rear like the Boy Scouts and abuse like the preachers in church and then mold them to be loyal allies to these people. It is the damage to their mind state and their souls that is the worst, not the sexual act itself, which is also repugnant. There's not enough disdain for this in attractive women who then uphold the treachery of the state and refuse to identify the dress code, the shape, the figure, the energy. Figure it out! And then they, these people, in their given positions, they promote the evil of the state as women breed toward the money, which leads them straight toward the evil and the culture and the money of the old money that is behind the state. They are fanatically out of order and they're found...